What the fuck? My kickstand's loose, it always does that shit. It like Suzuki's, it might be the same with other bikes too. Suzuki's are generally a little much when it comes to like the shit you have to do to start it. It has to be in neutral, you have to be pulling in the clutch and the kickstand has to be up. I think if you have the clutch in and the kickstand's down and it's in neutral, it'll still start. Like obviously, the moment you put it into first gear and the kickstand's even slightly down, it shuts off. I mean, it's a good feature and everything, but I think Suzuki's are the only bike where you don't, where you actually have to pull in the clutch for it to start. Other bikes, like I, I got some buddies that have R6s, they'll just walk up and just like push the button while they're sitting there smoking a cigarette. It's like, uh, okay. Starting a Suzuki requires two hands, unfortunately. They probably try and squid proof them as much as they can, so. But anyways, the point of this moto vlog is I am going to cycle gear today. I have <laughs> very little brake pads left in the front. And on top of that, I'm about due to have the line swapped. I've had this bike for coming up on two years now. I bleeded the brake fluid in the front just to help out a little bit because it had really spongy brakes. So I kind of just did that to hold me over. That's kind of like only a third of the problem. Uh, the lines are old, so I actually ordered Galfer stainless steel lines. They came in today. Trevor from Cycle Gear just called me. Been waiting on these lines for a while. There was kind of like a mix-up or something, so it took a lot longer than it should have. But whatever. My brakes still s somewhat work. They just suck. They just I can just tell they're on their last limb right now. Um, but I got stainless steel black lines with the black connector tips. And then I got I got them for the front and the rear, and I also got the GP style line. So instead of like going down to like the right caliper, and then there's like a crossover cable to the left one, it, there's two separate uh, lines. So each caliper gets its own individual line from the master cylinder. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, I got lines for the rear brake too, and I got pads for the front and the rear. However. They only had one set of pads for the front in stock and they had the rear in stock. So my my lines came in today, but my actual pads don't come in till tomorrow, which sucks. Cause I'd much rather have like two front pads and the rears not come in. That way I can at least just do the lines and the pads and the fluid and everything for the front all in one one kind of fell swoop. Cause that's where most of my braking power is. And I I've been kind of relying on my rear brake lately because both my front and rear suck, but the rear's a little better off. So I've been trying to save my front as much as I can by like engine braking and using the rear brake when I can, but it just, it's just cutting it really close. And the shitty thing is I have finals in like two weeks from now and I'll finally be done with school for two months and I'll be able to produce a shit ton of videos. So I'm really looking forward to that. In hindsight, I probably should have got yellow lines if I was going to be paying for the upgrade, but I didn't. I don't know if I'll change the color of this bike down the road, so I kind of wanted to keep it black just to keep it kind of neutral with whatever color scheme I choose, because black looks good with any other color, so. But I also haven't had lunch, and it's like fucking 3.30, so that's a little ridiculous. I need to take care of that. Not really sure what I'm going to get. What the fuck? Buying these lines is gonna be nice because it's a one-time purchase. I won't have to buy them again. I'll just have to replace the pads and the fluids, but between the lines, the coloring of the lines and the pads, it's gonna be like 400 bucks. So I'm just gonna go pay for all that up front right now. Then I'll come back after school tomorrow and pick up the pads. Another thing I kind of want to mention is that I have about three semesters left in school. If I go like balls to the wall and takes like 16 units, 16 units, and 13 units. And that'll have me graduating in like December, but I still want to walk in like May with everyone else. But I'm considering stretching out those three semesters into four semesters. That'll give me, I'm kind of like, pushing myself to the limits right now. I don't really have a lot of free time. And when I do, it's just me procrastinating. It's for like free time I shouldn't have that I'm like creating for myself, so that's bad. But I'm kind of in an awkward situation where 
God damn, it's fucking getting hot out. This is typical Fresno. You get like a week of good weather and then it gets hot. I have pretty much like five units to play with. So like if I were to stretch it out into four semesters, I'd be part-time like one or two of those semesters. So I'm considering that because that'll give me time to focus on like senior design and shit like that. I'm wondering if it'll be worth it as far as, you know, still having to work and free time and all that good stuff, so. It's kind of a nice day to ride. I wish I had a summer jacket. Should probably get one of those soon. I'm kind of torn between two jackets right now. I used to have the Icon Contra. I'd call that a three season jacket. I made it a four season jacket if you wear a sweatshirt underneath. It's not too bad, but. But there's also another one, and I, I can't remember the fucking name of it. It's like, it's like Team something. I think it's the one Dink Willie has. Obviously, I'd get it in a different color because I, I just can't pull off red at all. Not at all. I'm a fucking ginger man on a fucking bike that looks like it came out of a Skittles bag. It's like fucking blue and high vis yellow. But they have a they have like a light blue, a dark blue, and a and a black. I'm also colorblind, so that could be completely wrong too, but I know for sure they have a black one. It's like Team Overlord or something. It's like 175 bucks. You can find it on Revzilla. That one's like 175 bucks and it's probably gonna be a little lighter on the protection. And then the Contra is like 225 if memory serves correctly. That's a badass bike. That's one of those like, I think they're called like Honda Africas or something. I don't know if you've ever seen those before. I recommend checking it out on YouTube. Pretty badass. This is like the interesting part of Fresno. So it's like if you're if you're on Blackstone and you're like basically anywhere like I guess we'll say Ashland, but really anywhere south of Shaw, it's like two different fucking cities. All throughout Fresno, actually, there's like a very noticeable divide where Shaw is. If you live here, you probably know what I'm talking about. There's always shit happening on Blackstone, though. Always. Always dumb shit, too. It's like fuckboy central, basically, on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. All kinds of homeless people and tweakers and shit. People on meth. I don't know if you know, but Fresno has a huge methamphetamine problem. It's probably like the meth capital of the world, unofficially. Man, I'm fucking, I'm really kind of bummed that brake pad didn't come in today. I wanted to just fucking wham bam, thank you ma'am, get it all done. But anyways, I think I'm, I fucking, not gonna lie, I kind of suck at motor vlogging. Like, I just haven't tried it very much. A lot of my videos are just really just random compilations more than anything. But uh, I'm gonna give it a good solid effort. place takes way too much of my money, but I'm okay with it. Change of heart, dude. Okay, I was like, at least could put on the rear ones and then have at least something going on. Ooh, Mr. No Plate. Is that you? Gorgeous. Thank you. Yeah, I was checking out your bike earlier. Do you get fucked with without having the plate? Never. Not really? I pulled over a couple times and they just told me to be safe. They don't, like, they don't say anything? Are you like military or something? I mean, I was, but... Oh, okay. I never had to, sh I never had to pull that. They just... just cops don't harass me for some reason. Really? I've, like... Will you run into the CHP a lot? Do I run into CHP? Yeah. They're the only ones I ever really get problems from, but it's hit or miss. They're either complete dicks or they like they let me off way easy. Well, I, tr I, I, I try not to get crazy, be aware of my stress. Yeah. Usually when I am, then I stay out of trouble. But I, yeah, I'm speeding. I'm doing 90 and a 65. And the cop pulled me over and he just told me to slow down. And yeah, that's cool. Right uh, on. Yeah, I love that bike. Thanks, man. What's your name? I'm nice to meet you. What the fuck is going on? Is she gonna run into me or?
She's on the fucking cell phone too. <laughs> She's just gonna back up into me. What the fuck, man? That explains it all, dude. Not even gonna pull the gender card, but by suggesting it, I guess I'm halfway pulling it. But it's that fucking cell phone, dude. Put that fucking shit down and drive. Like, I'm not usually one to, like, be over the top about traffic violations and bitching about him, because, like, I commit quite a few myself. But if there's, I, I don't know, just uh, driving distracted is, like, almost as bad as driving drunk, in my opinion. Like, I, I don't know, I just, you're, like, not looking at the road or your surroundings, and, and much less, like, you're fucking going in reverse and you're not even looking the direction you're traveling. Like, who does that? Like... My car is moving backwards and I'm looking to the right because that makes fucking perfect sense.